Welcome back to Cranking Out Crafts. My name's Jay Flo, and we're on the road today at our Market City location. And we're going to continue the alcohol ink week, and I am going to show you how to change the color of a shell. It's just like we did the marbles on the previous episode, and this is a great way to mix and match your shell with your faux sea glass colors and attach these to vases. So we will, like we did before, take our product. This time we're gonna do a shell and we will, actually I'm gonna do green for this one. And this color is called Meadow. And I'm gonna pour a couple of dabs of that Meadow color in here and then take our alcohol blending solution, which will dilute this a little bit, and pour in there. And let's swish some of that green color around. This is looking really nice. Um, you could probably sponge this on as well, but I feel like sometimes the sponge really takes a lot of the color. And I think just for fun, I'm going to add a little blue and take it to the top. And let's see what that's going to look like blended in here. So do a little bit of blue. Oh, it's really nice. Oh, it's running down. And a little alcohol solution. And changing that look of the shell. As I said um, in the previous episode, the only way to get the alcohol ink off of here is with the blending solution. It's an alcohol base and you can just pour it on to get the color off. Water, it will not react to water at all. Oh, this is really pretty. So you'll want to leave that out to dry and it's turning out pretty cool. Um, if you wanted some of it to kind of disappear in some of the spots, maybe give it a little more of an ombre, you could put some of the blending solution and wipe off so it's just in the grooves but there's lots of different techniques you can do with this as you can see here we took some other seashells and we did a little bit of wire wrapping and I can show you that technique really quick we're going to make a little loop at the end because this way it can hang on the vase that you're putting it on kind of makes a little hanger so we took 18 gauge wire and these are needle nose pliers and I'm just going to make that first loop tight and then continue turning and the the rest of the loops are going to be a little bit looser and I am not a wire wrapper I'll have you know that <laughs> um, but this just kind of gives it a little texture a little bit of interest at the end here so we just make these little loops and while this one's drying I'll show you on a regular shell um, we'll just do some little wrapping to make it stay on there again not a wire wrapper but I'm making it work and we can put it on here and then just bend these over so we can hang on the edge of a vase just like we did these. So, you don't have to be a fancy wire wrapper to do this, <laughs> but it's an easy way to show off some of those shells that you have in your house, and you can color coordinate it when you don't have that perfect color. So, hope you enjoyed this edition of Cranking Out Crafts, and check us out on BF Crafts on Instagram.